Hello everyone, I'm Zero Belize and welcome back to Skyrim Legends. We're currently we're within Whiterun, trying to find a messenger who's looking for Korgol, or at least we'll be looking for him first. And we also have an old friend with us, and that would be Zora Fairchild. Hopefully now we can solve her problem and have a few more adventures with her. Now I need a new weapon for her. I, pr I probably have. He needs to give me a little bit of money for the bounty that I claimed. Alright, so let's see, what do you have for Zora here? A giant hammer. I'll take it. Huh. I think she'll like that. Oh, I know I will. Wait, I thought you were going to give it to her. I don't know. Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, this is great. This is more orc than me. Just kidding. Nothing is more orc than me. Huh. Oh, yeah. This is mine. Zora, not yours. Huh. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and trade with Zora right now. I miss having her company about. Alright, so she has a still great sword. Well, she had a great sword, but no longer. I'm going to go ahead and give her the Great Rider's Blade for the moment. There we go. And I think that will work out just fine. I know this hammer will. Hey, Zora, look at the size of my hammer. <laughs> uh, still fun. Alright, I believe the messenger might be in here as well. Let's go ahead and check it out. Right yep, my hammer's still huge. Let's see. I can't believe it's oh. I was just asking around. Who are you? You're looking for me? What are you talking about? My master and I recently arrived here in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. It's been a long journey, but he sent me to see if I could find you. I thought I'd check the tavern and... I'm bored now. First, and then set out for the other tents tomorrow. Apparently Zora is too. Unfortunately, the gods favor me today, as you seem to have found me instead. He's heard of you escaping that awful dragon attack and urgently needs to speak with you. I know nothing more than that. It's at the inn in Fulcry. Would you please meet him at your earliest convenience? He only wishes to talk to you. Yeah, he gave me this note to give you, and a small token of his appreciation. Now then, I bid you good day as I have another errand to run. No rest for the weary, as they say. Good day. He's cheerful. I don't trust him. Oh, but gold. I trust gold, and gold is nice. Zora, do you like gold? Yeah, you like gold. Hopefully not as much as my hammer. Who's over here? Hi. Oh, you look ill. Blade and shadow. And you're dramatic. Okay, we're just gonna leave this place now. I hate you and you're in. Okay, now we have that letter to read. Let's go and check that out real quick and see what it has to do with. Letter from Marcus Janus. Dear friend, after I got word of your survival from the terrible dragon attack in Helgen, I came to Skyrim as fast as I could. I sent my trusty messenger, Patsy, and a in the hope that he will be able to find you and give you this letter. He did a terrible job. You are one of the only survivors and you may have explicit knowledge that is vital to me. I would very much like to discuss the events of that day with you. These are truly desperate times and I hope you will accept this small gift of gold as a token of my appreciation. Would you meet with me in Dead Man's Drink in Falkreath? Sincerely, Marcus Janus. Wait, dragon? What dragon? I guess there was a dragon attack. I wasn't there, but if he wants to give me more gold... Oh man, I know all about dragons. Do you really? No, I don't know anything about dragons. I think they taste like chicken. Yeah, I'm sure they taste like chicken. If they were dragon chickens. Well, let's go ahead and claim our bounty and then we can go ahead and head out of here. I could head to Falkreath. That's a possibility, but I may have to handle the vampire issue first and then go to Falkreath. I could always take a carriage there. That would be handy. I'm a bit curious about that affair, so... It's really a tough choice. I'm very glad that Zora's here, though, and she has my blade for now. And, like I said, I may have fixed any issues that I had in the past, so we should be able to continue with any quest that she needs solved. Alright, let's see. Oh, also, I found out about Carrie, too, that apparently... Oh, and I... I believe that's a euphemism for the fact that he's been married. And so, like, that saying, the good old ball and chain, well, in this case, the Nords would say, hey, I took an arrow to the knee, which, that being a wife, <laughs> and it disables him, so it's kind of like a ball and chain. There you go, a little lesson for you. Alright, let's go up in here. No, I'm not sure that's factual, but that's something that I remember reading, so I thought that I would share that. I need a source before I can cite that as fact, though. Okay, let's go ahead and head into Dragon's Reach now. Time to get my gold, baby. Yeah. 
Let's get. Let's just get that gold. I'm sure they might be a little bit shocked at that hammer on your back. <laughs> I'm even shocked. Really? No. Oh, she is quite the blade. Look at that. Huh. So you were in Helgen. Oh, great. You saw this dragon with your own what eyes? dragon? Uh, let's see. Uh, the dragon destroyed Helgen, and last I saw, it was heading this way. Why, Smear was right. Who? What do you say now, Can I get out of here now? Just want my gold. Against the dragon? Let me talk with him. Oh joy. Zora, can you come? Oh, she left us. <laughs> she did leave us. Money. Give it. No. You. Okay, well. Me too, Zora. Time for a seat. I'm not sure. I guess we wait here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Goldman is ready. Goldman! You're bald. You must have gold. I believe that's an offensive stere stereotype against bald people. Nah. People are just giving me things left and right. I love this town. No. No, you, you, gold. I'm here for the bounty, baby. All right. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Time to get out of here. I don't like the smell of mages. But you do travel with Carrie. Yeah, and she smells like flowers. Pretty, pretty flowers. Did you? Let's get out of here now. Dragon this. I'm better than dragons, baby. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here now. I'm sick of being in this city. It was great for a few minutes, but now, boring. Damn those gray mates to oblivion. Damn you. They want to back the storm cloaks. All these women everywhere. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Oh, great. I'm sick again. Well. Let me go solve that now. I'm sure there's a priest around here somewhere, right? There better be, anyway. Well, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. This thing, can I can I touch it? Hooray! Too many touching things that I shouldn't touch or should touch that are holy and ancient will give me powers. Oh, weird thing. Yeah, it's funny how that works, I suppose. Uh, Janice is doing her thing now. What did he want me to do now? Bleak Falls Barrow. Talk to Ferengar. No, thank you. I'd rather go after the vampires or even talk to that fellow in Fog Wreath. That would be interesting, and I have a giant hammer. I have a giant hammer. Yeah, I know you have a giant hammer. Let's go find that. I'll decide in a little while. Let's go ahead and find that fellow with the horse. Okay, let's see. Where's that carriage at? Let me go ahead and check out things. Now, where would I need to go in order to find these people at? Where's Fog Wreath at? I have no clue. There's the vampires over there. And where will- oh, I would need to go- no, that's Riften. Falkreath! I can't believe I forgot all about it. Yeah, well, I drink a lot. What's your excuse? I don't know. Right, we go there all the- all the time. We could go back home, sure. I might do that for the time being, just because I would really like to know what's going on with that event, or whatever you want to call it. The longer we travel, the roads of skies. What have you got for sale? I could need to. He might have something fancy. So far, no. Nothing that I want. Still quarter staff. No. A wooden sword. Ugh. Blue robes. Gold necklace. Still nothing that I want. Well, these are kind of nice. I wonder what my gauntlets do. That would be interesting to have. That's a ring. Leather armor. Minor smithing. Now, any potions that can heal me is always needed. Let's see, moon sugar salt pile, no thank you. A lot of stuff is over here, a lot of junk, really. <laughs> yeah, nothing that I really want. A roll of paper, I don't know what that's for. Okay, let's go talk to that carriage driver now. This place feels a bit more busy than I remember it. Maybe not. Oh, wait, it does, wow. I guess they're building markets here. 
A carriage guard, huh? Well, she's not very nice. Alright. I'd like to hire your carriage. I'd like to go to Falkreath. We'll Alright, let's go to Falkreath now and check out what's Hi, happening about Helgen. I hate this weather. I know you do, Corco. I know you do. Man, it's raining quite a bit. Let's see where that fellow's at. A dog. No, some wolves, but no dogs. That's good to know. Uh, outsider, I'm a hero here, baby. Let's see. Let me go ahead and look at this town real quick and see what they have. Ah, uh -huh, right in this inn, of course. Let's head in there now. Now we can find out about Helgen, at least somewhere. There's that former Thalmor agent there. I'm considering talking to her in the future, just not right now. It's Fall Deer. Small child. Why Why would that ever be here? Ugh. Let's see. Who are you? Make it quick. A sad time. I don't like this place very much. Oh. Nice little towel. I hear Balder made it back safe. Too bad about that. Oh right, I, I saved him. Delacorda. Oh, did you need something? Can I make a request? Sure. What can I do for you? Oh, neither. Keep a song in your heart. What is this guy doing here? He's ripped. Right. Jeez. Scary beef man. Alright, let's see, where is he? Balder? No. Oran? No. Is that the guy? Caius. No. Where is this fellow at? Maybe I'm just not looking clearly enough. Let me look at the map. Oh, he's in another room. Okay. That's more understandable. No. Let's go check this fellow out. Marcus Janus, huh? Then we have Beef Man 2 here. It's an elf? What? In all my years, I've never wanted to kill an elf more. Ugh. Alright, let's see. Are you Marcus Janus? You wanted to see me about Helgen. Oh, bless the divines, you came. Well met. And welcome. We have much to discuss. Will you tell me, what happened at Helgen? Uh, well... Let's see. You already know Helgen was attacked by a dragon. Have you ever seen one? Well, no. Not to mention. I doubt any civilians made it out of there alive. The place was laid to waste. Even if they did survive the dragon attack, the bandits killed them for sure. Yes, I've heard the fort is full of them. But appearances can also be deceiving. If I'm right, these are no bandits at all. I have it on good authority there is a man known only as Val inside the keep. He's the leader of a small group of mercenaries, for lack of a better term. Their aim is to kill Thalmor wherever they're found. That they've come out of hiding is beyond the mysterious. They're insurrectionists. A resistance movement, if you will. Yes, they're... they're terrorists. And you know this man? His name is Valerius Tiberius Artorian. We served for many years together in the Imperial Legion. As captains under Titus Mede II during the Great War. Your mustache is weird. He was a good man in those days. An honorable man. Murdered his family. Tell me more, please. So, what exactly does this have to do with me? I need you to go try and talk to Valerius. Reason with him. Tell him Marcus Janus requests a meeting with you. You seem very unhappy over your family dying. Tell him I'll come to the fort alone. Present company excluded, of course. Interesting. Give this ring to him. It was his wife's wedding band. Why do you have it? If any of his men try to accost you, show it to them and tell them it is a gesture of goodwill from me. Alright. They'll give you quarter if they know I sent you. Approach the guards and show them the ring. Tell them Marcus Janus sent you to see Valerius Tiberius Artoria on urgent business. Show them this note with my seal, but tell them it's for Valerius. His eyes only. Please return to me as soon as you can. Dora. Hi. 
<laughs> and she walks up. Alright, this is interesting. I don't trust this fellow. But we'll see what will happen now. I want to read that note now. Let's see. Val, my old friend, it's been a long time. I've thought long and hard about how I would approach your situation. I've thought of how I would convey to you my sincere condolences for everything that has happened to you, my, my friend. All I can say is I'm sorry. You saved my life once. For that, I owe you mine. I think I know why you are in Skyrim, and if I'm right, we need each other's help. Will you please consider an audience with your old friend? If after we talk you want no part of my plans, then we can part ways in peace. I know that you are a suspicious fellow, and rightly so. Remember when Titus II personally asked us to scout that bandit ruin outside the city? We hid amongst the trees for two nights like wolves, quiet like a still night. We were shot up by shadows, and it was hard to keep ourselves awake at times with nothing exciting happening. You asked... Me to open the meat and we drank. Oh, did we drink? We were laughing and joking, thinking that the job was safe. That's when we saw the patrol. Bandits, we lay still as statues. They passed by and we thought we were safe. We thought we had evaded them just like we had done so many times before. That's when it happened. I let out a belch that could have awakened the great Talos himself from his slumber. Ha <laughs> What a fight that was... Wait, let's see. What a fight that was that followed. Every single one of them slaughtered by the edge of our cold steel swords. Yes, I, Marcus Janus, have, have been and ever shall be your friend. I await your decision. P.S. My sword sings with, with the heart of Frandar Hunding. Well, that's a wordy bastard. Alright, well, I think we're pretty much done here. I'm going to go to any episode here and later you'll see Kor going. Zora right over here. Closer to Helgen, where we may have to see what will be happening next very soon. Alright, until then.